Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio. Today I'm in Zebra Slot Canyon in Escalante National Park in Utah. Keep watching and I hope you enjoy this next video. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio and today we're going to talk a little bit about extensions in Swift. I'm going to show you how extensions can be used for adding more functionality or utility to an existing class without having to create a new class. I'll also show you how to use extensions to organize your code to make it easier to work with and find parts of your code more quickly. We're going to refactor our code a little bit using an extension. And in case you're new to programming, the word refactor just means to change or restructure your code that you've already written in some way. So what is an extension? Well, an extension adds new functionality to an existing class. For example, when you take an existing class like a UI button, you can add more properties or functions to it. So now all UI buttons have those properties and extensions that you just added. We'll be doing something similar to this later in this video. You can also use extensions to break up your class into parts. And this is what we're going to do with our view controller. This is simply a way to organize your code and to separate some things out to make it easier to find parts of your code later on. We're going to separate out all the code that relates to the table view using an extension. Okay, so let's go into our project and move all of our table view code into an extension. Okay, I'm here in Xcode in a project that has a table view, and there are three functions related to this table view. We have number of rows in section, cell for row at, and then we have another function called height for row at. Now, how do we break this up using extensions? Well, extensions add functionality or additional code to an existing class. So in this case, our existing class is the trips view controller. So what we can do is we can just close off this class right here, and then we're going to extend this class and add more functionality to it. So what I'm going to do is use the word extension, and then I'm going to specify which class I'm going to extend, which is my view controller. And then I'm going to add additional code here, and that basically says, this code in this extension can be added to the existing class trips view controller. Now what I also want is I want this extension of my trips view controller to be responsible for conforming to the table view protocols. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these out and then add them here. So essentially what I did is I broke up the trips view controller into two parts. One that just has code for view did load and some outlets in the original class right here for trips view controller. And then I created an extension which has additional functions and all these functions relate to the table view. So as you can imagine, as your class gets bigger and you want to narrow down what you're looking for to just functions that relate to your table view, then you can just look for the extension for your view controller that conforms to the table view protocols. Okay, good. So that's one way to organize your code is to use extensions. If you wanted to, you could even go so far as to take this whole extension and put it into a separate file. And that'll work too. But for now, this class is really small. So I'm going to keep both parts in the same file. Okay, I also gave the example that we can extend an existing class that Apple gives us using an extension. So let's do that. The next class we're going to look at is our cell class right here. And this UI table view cell class has some code in it that customizes the look of a UI view. And that's what this card view is right here. This is a UI view that's in our cell. And as you can see, there's some code here that gives it a shadow and rounded corners. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an extension for the UI view class that has this code in it. So when I'm done, I can just do this. I can just call a function that adds a shadow and rounded corners and it'll call this existing code right here. And not only that, but this function will be available for all UI views in this entire project. Now, if I wanted to, I could break these up into two separate functions where I could just have one function that adds a shadow and then call another function to add the rounded corners. But for now, we'll just keep it simple and put it in one function. So I need a place to add an extension to the UI view. Now I could add it here down below but it might be hard to find in the future. You know, it wouldn't be intuitive to go to the trips 
table view cell <laughs> to find an extension for the UI view. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to create another folder that holds all my extensions. And then I'll create another file specifically for UI view extensions. And we'll be extending the UI view. So I'll just start with this. Really, I guess I didn't have to do that because all I'm going to do is extend this UI view. So I'm just going to add the word extension right here. Now, anything I put in this extension will be available for all UI views. So let's go back to that function that I created that doesn't exist. And this will be our function that we're going to create. And what I'll do just to make it easy is I'm just going to cut this code out of here because we're not going to need that anymore. And as you can see, that error went away because now that function exists. And we're actually in the UI view, so we can just access the layer property directly. Okay, there we go. So let's test it and make sure it works. Okay, this looks right, wouldn't you say? We had the rounded corners, we had the shadow behind it, and everything looks great. And we know the extension for our view controller worked by separating out all the table view functions because data did load into our table view. Okay, so everything looks great. All right, guys, that's it for this video. You learned about extensions and how you can use them to add more functions to existing classes. And you also saw how you can use them to organize your code. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share it with your friends and other developers who you think might be able to benefit from extensions. If you want to help out, you can always provide a translation for the title and description of this video. Providing a translation for the title and description will help people who speak your language find this video and other people in your country help find this video as well. All right, thanks guys.